Again, kind of late. It looks like this will be this will be my last video for tonight. Boy, you really, I love all these Billboard Hot Hot 100s. I, I'm looking at this Billboard Hot 100, and I do this on all these Hot 100s. Everyone I look at, uh, but this one from August 23rd, 1980. Again, there are just so many lost 45s on here. I sure would like to get to, and I've already covered about four of them so far. The song I want to talk to you about, if I can, <laughs> I've lost it. One of these nights, I lost the record. Here it is. Here it is at number 60. Billboard's Hot 100 at number 60. And I uh, put this in perspective. Some of the big hits from that from that, uh, from that that week. One in a Million You by Larry Graham. Uh, Hot Rod Hots by Robbie Dupree. And uh, All Over the World by ELO. That was a fairly sizable hit in the summer of 1980. And uh, Don't Ask <clears throat> Excuse Me, Don't Ask Me Why by Billy Joel. And we got the Spinners, Cupid. I've loved you for a very long time. Nice little medley they did. Cupid done by Sam Cooke way back, I think around 1960. And How Does It Feel to Be Back, which would be kind of a comeback hit of sorts by Holland Oaks back in the fall of 1980. But let's go back to now this song at number 60. Lenore, Leonore, Lenore O'Malley, First Be a Woman, a disco record, although disco was kind of dying out in 1980. The backlash against disco was so severe. But uh, I just could not find any information. I, I was able to dig up a few things from an obscure website. The song was produced by Elena and Paul Sebastian. Take it that the song was uh, recorded in Paris in France. And uh, Lenore, and I got this from a comment for, on a uh, website, a guy, who, a guy who spoke to her, who met her, who spoke to her at, at a disco forum in 1979. And from what I got from that conversation was that uh, her dad was an undertaker. She's from Pennsylvania. And the guy commented that he was obsessed with her because she was blonde and beautiful. She is a very attractive woman. I could see that. But that's it. That's all I can get off of Lenore O'Malley. She's not in, she, I don't think she's in allmusic.com. She's not in uh, Wikipedia. And she only had that. She sounds like Gloria Gaynor. As a matter of fact, Gloria Gaynor did did a version of this song, First Be a Woman. And uh, she definitely sounds soulful on this record. There's no doubt about it. But this was her only hit. That's it. Went to number 53 on Billboard's Hot 100, on the Hot 100 for eight weeks. The week of August 23rd, 1980, delightful disco record. First Be a Woman. And she was all woman. Lenore O'Malley, Lenore O'Malley, at number 60 on the Hot 100, summer of 1980.